What's up everyone? It's Stevie again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing. There's heaps of cool stuff just like this. So what we have today is the new G-Made ready to run pickup with like a hood. Now I had the blue one which is the kit which is like a ute style and that was cool so that is a not a ready to run you build it yourself some people enjoy building them some people enjoy just getting ready to run plug it in your batteries and you are ready to go i love building them sometimes more than i actually do using them we have the gs02f buffalo in black i will show you i'll do another video of it running the weather here is so crap lately but uh it's bipolar doesn't know what to do but let's have a look and see what we get in the kit so there we go rtr that means ready to run if you don't know so in this particular car it is 110 scale front weight balanced it's cms so what that means is chassis mounted steering servo link suspension it's got those inner fenders which i really do like four wheel drive it's got overdrive so the front wheel spins slightly faster than the rear wheels that does improve traction two-speed transmission ttr system so that's a kind of anti-twist system and it's ready to run included we have your radio control servo esc motor receiver all you need to do for this is you need a charger battery for the car and four aa batteries for the controller wheelbase is 313 very uh, standard ground clearance 72 millimeters and 2 kg without no electronics so there we go it's sick i'll leave the links down below but i do love this black looking scheme now the blue one which i was saying before is this guy here and that is the kit version there it looks awesome i do love it it uh i don't know either way wagon or this kind of uh ute style it's up to you but there we go that's pretty much what you're going to get and they're the inner fender liners which are really cool but they have a lot of g-made cars as you can see i'd love them so and actually first started with my g-made which was the g-made what is it the sawback still love that thing but here we go let's have a look nicely packaged it does come with another sleeve but uh here we go awesome who doesn't love a new rc car so in this box we'll be getting a lot of goodies just doing the old school one-hander style so let's just have a look and see what we get now g made sent me some optional parts thank you very much now what they are here is we have the stainless steel steering guard so that nice black stainless steel we have a roof rack light kit komodo led light kit which is komodo they all same or well, they all share the similar light buckets at the front so that is that even though it's ready to run you get a load of option parts and things that you can kind of spare parts and stuff like that in the kit which is sick now there we go there's our clear light strips for the buckets it does come with some gear grease some shock oil i believe and just odds and ends and parts you know that you might need here and there small little tool kit i'm trying to look for the right words and other parts like that but you can check it out in the manual if you want there's even more stuff here so check this out so this is the off-road roof rack and led bar set sweet all the mounting systems of roof rack nice to go here we got our instruction manuals here we go and a nice sticker sheet if you want to lather it up with stickers so not only you get instruction manual pretty much if you want to rip down the car and build it as a kit that's what this one is which is awesome you get this one here just for you ready to run which just gives you the basics of you know how to plug it in how to set up your radio if you need to rebind it easy so if it's your first kit you know it tells you what to do so it's good to see it also gives you the esc settings uh, if you want to change it up because it does have different drag brake settings and all that kind of stuff which is good as you can see there so drag brake yes or no and you can change the uh you know default you want drag and it's just with like a little jumper switch forward speed 100 percent uh, or backward speed 30 percent or 100 percent so anyway that's pretty cool it does also have a manual for the actual controller and some horns and stuff like that for the servo so it does come with a lot of spare parts and on that note here is your 2.4 gigahertz controller four channel steering trims and throttle trims four channel switch just there on and off and uh you know everything else that you'd expect on a ready to run controller and i thought i'd mention i did show this before i have done rechargeable AAA and AA batteries before but xstar sent me this bc8 it's their new usb uh powered 
or USB-C powered charger. Good thing about these, they are 1.5 volts. Now a lot of rechargeable batteries are 1.2 or a lot of my Panasonic Interloop ones are, but these are 1.5, so a bit more oomph. And uh, there we go. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave the link down below. Not an affiliate link or anything. It's just that they sent me this to show off, but I am actually really like them. Top quality, and I do like how it's 1.5 volts. So anyway, let's get this stuff off the table, and then I'll pull the car out, and we'll have a close look at that bad boy. All the black beauty. Here we go. So quickly, i got the, uh, the kit version here. So it's the same wheelbase, pretty much the same everything, except for the body, as you can see. It's got the pickup version. This is kind of like the uh, kind of wagon, or you want to call it. But left the cover on because if you normally realize that uh, RC cars generally have your body post mounts coming from the top pretty ugly doesn't look scale you know people do all these upscale them and they got these stupid big ass body pins hanging out the roof or the bonnet or the tray and it looks ugly on these guys they're underneath you can see these two body clips right underneath beautifully cut out and a nice little slot for them and at the back it kind of slides in this way so a really cool design so you just pull them out like this pull them out flip them back over I'm not doing this one handed but get the drift and that's it lift the body up kind of done as you can see at the back there you've got two more there you pull those out but uh, you can you don't need to take them out if you want to do like a quick access to change the battery you can do it like this or if you want to take the whole body off you grab these pins as well Pull them out just like that, flip it back around and you are good to go then you can take it off but I do like that idea, there we go. Bob's Runko and all the mounting hardware is attached to the front and rear bumper bar like that but let me take this plastic off and we'll continue. Wow that looks sick, that looks really stealthy I do love that I don't really want to put any stickers on that. I think that looks awesome with the guards. Look at that. Everything just looks really sick in there. Nice mirrors. Separately applied items. So, you know, they're hardware attached as well. So, you've got the guards here, the mirrors, the wipers, little door handles there as well. And I love this old school kind of military look with this massive antenna. Obviously, it looks kind of reminiscent of the FM days, but I'm pretty sure that's just uh, scaled details, but it looks cool. doesn't function. It just is there for looks, really. Bumper bar. Got the rear light uh, lenses and everything's in there, ready to go, because if you flip them upside down, you would notice the, buckets, the light buckets are ready to go. There we go there. And there's inside, so you got like little screws, little body clips holding that with a little rubber ring to not scratch the body, which is a nice touch. But everything is hardware fixed, all with a body clip and a little uh, rubber o-ring, so it doesn't scratch it up. But really nice, and yes, those bodies I'm sure will be interchangeable, so if you have either or, or you could. But uh, here it is here, everything is exactly the same as this guy. If I pull this off, or just lift the body up, you'll see. So this is the kit version, but uh, and that is the ready-to-run version. So here's the obviously the motor over the front wheels, brush motor. But you can always change this out. Two-speed transmission. Just here you have your servo to change your first and second. Here's your brushed ESC. It's waterproof, which is good. And on the side there, you'll see your little jumper setting, so you can have your drag. You can change them up yes or no and you can also have lipo or nickel metal hydride battery as well on and off switch comes with dean's connectors just like that here's your uh, receiver is all locked and loaded in there and it's got like a, a waterproof kind of box your front and rear fenders and they not only help with the scale aspect of it and the looks but they do mitigate a lot of rubbish getting in and you know or just mitigating a lot of the uh, water and crap getting into under the body now you can see on this particular kit the front bumper is different to the kit version as you can see so the ready to run version has this more bulky kind of substantial look to it which i really do like so this traditional c steel channel ladder frame chassis 
comes stock at 313 millimeter wheelbase but it's adjustable to 324 millimeters for uh, you know custom bodies and stuff like that but you will need to adjust the link size but uh, those things can be uh, can be bought it's an optional part you can either put a 540 or a 550 size motor in there which is cool it's got a lot of a lot of room there for different size motors and up top here you notice this this is for a fan you can add an additional fan there to help cool things down if you want it also does have multiple battery size and uh, battery pack location so if you don't like it there you can change it up as well but it does have a standard width size of 156 millimeters or you can have a comes with an additional shorty pack battery tray and that i believe is a 98 millimeters now if you look here cms that is the chassis mounted steering servo which is just there and also does have a pan hard bar as well so you know pretty cool some have crawlers have axle uh, serve on the axle each to their own but to this one is cms all metal links from standard so there is your steering servo horn or your steering servo linkage and this bar right here is your pan hard bar while we're down here as you can see plastic axles housings with a metal pumpkin all metal gears obviously internally and flip it upside down as well these are telescopic drive shafts if people don't know what that is if you think of a telescope how it zooms in and out see how the shaft here your drive shaft is going in and out with your suspension travel so it doesn't bind up and like i mentioned before it does have overdrive so that means the front wheels spin slightly ever so slightly faster than the rear it does help with crawling and stuff like that and get you out of tricky situations flip it back around here like i mentioned before Two-speed transmission, it's always good, you know, that first gear is good for, you know, hardcore rock crawling where you don't want top speed, you want just more torque. And the second gear is good if you're crawling and you get out on the trail and you want a, a bit quicker, like a bit walking pace, you can just walk with you, you don't need to carry it in your backpack and stuff like that. It does also have TTR, which stands for Torque Twists Reduce. So what that basically does is the transmission is designed to reduce the unnecessary torque, you know, when you're flooring, you see kind of, tweaking up one of those wheels kind of helps with that so it actually works really well having no issues with it and you know it's a good feature to have it also does have a dual slipper clutch system all underneath there which is nice you know you can tighten up all the way or you can loosen it up so it saves any you know gears and stuff like that munching away but because it all is metal gears you shouldn't have that problem one thing i forgot to mention is you know the actual shafts are plastic for the drive shafts just here but uh, it does have hardened carbon steel universal joints. Now in that diff, it does have a metal diff locker, hardened carbon steel CVA kit, just in there, it's hard to see, and also does have zero Ackerman steering, which is awesome for a crawler. Now the shocks, three and a half millimeter heavy duty shock shafts there, aluminum bodied, and obviously threaded, oil filled, and from the get go, they feel very nice no issues with that same as on the other cars as well and on this kit one as well same setup i have no issues with these shocks they're really nice and they do look cool as well now the wheels here 1.9 mt 1903 1.9 inch off-road tires and they do look quite nice it's up to you but uh you know the tire height of 109 millimeters and the actual width is 40 mil so the Inner diameter is 48 mils, that's where it comes, or well, that's why it says a 1.9 inch. But I think that's pretty much a lot about talking about the chassis and the uh, the stealth body mount. That's what that body mount system is called, stealth body mount system. Let's plug a battery up and let's just go through some of the functions, just see if it works. Just got a normal standard size battery in there, two cell. Check the steering. Not bad for a stock steering servo. Now is in low gear. Now to change the uh, gear button here, channel 3, you'll notice that, push that. Low. Shouldn't really change it that, you know, aggressively when it's going, but I'm part of a RC reviewer. I want to test them out and make sure everything works fine. As you can see, when you're on the trails, you, you can only do that when you're walking, when you're crawling. Lower it down. There you go. 
looks good, everything works, which is what I want. Can't wait to get out on the trails. What do you guys think? Do you guys have this or looking at getting this car? Because, you know, or, or any G Mades, what do you think of G Mades in general? I think they're fantastic, uh, fantastic cars. And the good thing about them, they're priced well and they have parts availability, especially here in Australia. Right, guys, like always, shitty weather, but that's why I just brought it out quickly. I'll show you the difference in high and low speed. So that is low. You know, it is a cooler though, so you don't want to go crazy. High speed. There you go. Look how nice it looks in black. There we go, pretty cool. That's a, a bit of a test over here before it starts raining. Let's have a look. Black. I do love the uh, little antenna on the back. Some urban military type of thing. Let's bring it up here. Grass is overgrown. So much rain. As soon as it gets stops, starts again. Go through some of these thick grass. It's out here. There's that. We've now got the river. What do you guys think? Nice articulation. It does have really nice articulation. Actually. The suspension is quite nice. Right, just got to bite a bit. There we go. Thanks for a little helper there. Next, we've got to install that light kit and take it out on the trails for, for a proper run. But uh, so far, first impressions, nice suspension travel, looks good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have G-Made or any other kits, let me know what you think of them. I think they're great, I think they look awesome. And like I said, can't beat the uh, value for money and what you get. So, cheers guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.